Hello, welcome to my first video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get good at Stack Running Simulator. Okay, so, for starters, potions are going to be your favorite thing. They're going to be so useful, um, but uh, to make things easier, what I'm going to do is, for you to understand, I'm going to sacrifice. So, and then scroll down until I find the second expression. Just so I can at least get some fragments. Okay. Now you get sacrifice potions, which are fragment potions actually. You get them from crates that are from the beach and up. Secret potions, which they just didn't have, you get from the Wild West. Okay, so now time to show you how to do this. Okay, first thing when you join the game, you'll see these achievements. You're able to put tokens for For example, like this one. Now, you also got your get the awards, which I can claim right here, but I'm not. Because I can get the sacrifice fragments after I return, which I would love, so I'll do that later. Okay, first thing you're gonna do, when you first join, you're not gonna have as many tokens as I do. Obviously. But this thing right here, uh, is the token book. They're hidden around each stage of the maps. Um, you can find one here. Um, and then in the jungle, there will be a plane crash near the bones button and the uh, artifacts button uh, behind the bushes. Then at the beach, there's one at the docks. And then finally, Wild West, there is one on uh, one of the houses. Okay. Now, if you don't know, if I stand on this button, I'm getting 8 9 million. Okay? Now, if I click upgrade tokens, it goes up. You get more tokens for each upgrade. So, what I'm gonna do is actually turn on 5 max. It's not enough, and max upgrade. Now, another thing if you didn't potions, they have token multipliers. So, if you ever need any way to get tokens, like a lot more tokens, just put potions. Go to the filter here, put tokens, and then it will put all the ones you have. And then, not to mention more potion equipped, it's great. Considering I'm only making like 19 trillion, I put them all, 28 trillion. This is good. Now, what I recommend is get your potion luck high. Uh, first, get your more tokens high, to, so you're at least getting uh, able to get the five tokens so you can get the crate down there, and end up getting that to get potions. Um, I'm gonna max all these real quick. Okay, so once you collect a good amount of tokens here, you can end up getting potions. Coming up here and collect more if you want to. But I recommend just getting a few potions and then coming down here. Okay, now you can start your grinding process, which is if you have multiplier potions, use them to get more multiplier. And then click your money potions so you can get more money. Multiplier gives you more money as well. So you're able to get more rebirths. Okay. Well, I have rebirth potions. So once I get rebirth potions, I and if I have enough money, I go to the highest button I can. So I'm gonna go to this button, and I just stand on it. 
as you can see, I'm getting rebirths now. Now, if I have super reverse potions, which you should probably try to get them if you don't have them already, you want to equip all of the super reverse potions you can. End up going to the very last button uh, that you're able to get the most expensive one. Collect it. Now, once you do collect it, you can go down where the auto gain stats are. So that upgrades. And you can upgrade. Now, if I upgrade this, as you can see, my reverts are going up. Auto gain, which means I can do stuff like this. That's good. Okay, but since I do not have to do that, since I've so many uh, stat multiplier, um, I'm gonna move on to sacrifice. But basically, you do that with the rebirth, the super rebirth, throughout the whole game, through so every single stat. Okay, now, a little tip here that I think is pretty good and useful. If you sacrifice so many times you hate re-equipping and unequipping, and you reincarnate a few times, all you gotta do is go put on your best potions, like this. See, mine are like hundreds and sixties and stuff. Just keep doing this at the start until you're able to get all the artifacts. And you don't have to worry about re-equipping them or unequipping. Just gotta go to the last one you can this and then step on it. See so, yeah, I don't have to re anything, I just gotta walk on it and then keep going on. Now let me get to artifacts and I'll go on the video. Now once you reach artifacts, you're at the stage of the game where you're able to sacrifice. Now what I recommend is getting a bunch of artifacts or even higher with some when you sacrifice, you're able to uh, sacrifice when you have one artifact or more. But the more stats that you have, let's say if I had fossils going all the way down to artifacts and I get them as high as I can. By stepping on every single button to the last button, trying to get them to the very last button, and then I quit fragment potions, I won't be able to get more. So, that's what you should do. Um, so, right now, I don't need to sacrifice, obviously, because I've sacrificed a bunch. That's what you do. Now, a little tip here, actually. If you didn't know, you can buy potion trading for a thousand fragments. And you keep it after reincarnation. So that means you can farm up fragment potions at the beach and then end up uh, using them to sacrifice for trading all your good potions to another account that has potion trading unlocked or to a friend. Uh, other than that, all of these get reset and you reincarnate. Okay. Now, off to the beach. Okay. Now we're going to talk about reincarnations. Reincarnations, the more fragments you have, the more essence you'll get. I think, I'm not for sure, but I think you get about 30, maybe 20 actually, essence from getting 25,000 fragments, uh, fragments for, uh, for your first life, or for the life that you're on. So, here's the fragment tree. You're able to spend frag, uh, not frag tree. Here's the essence tree. Sorry. You're able to spend es uh, essence on things like more fragments, more tokens, more auto stats, potion equips, permanent potions, permanent runes, and auto deletion. Um, auto deletion is really helpful if you're trying to get more stats, but you want to make sure you buy permanent person permanent potions before that. And before that, I recommend getting permanent runes. Um, getting more fragments is good. Also, more tokens. 
and more auto stats later in the game. Uh, more potions equipped is good as well. Now to move on to the next thing. Okay. So, if you haven't got any of your upgrades, like how I have them, your auto stat gain, then what you want is you want to end up getting shells. Alright, you gotta pay very close attention because you will mess up if you try to hold them. So you want to get shells, then you want to get sand. And then here's where it gets very annoying. You end up messing this up, then you have to go all the way back to the last one you uh, upgraded. So I recommend you pay attention when you're doing this. Okay. So if I end up getting sand castle, obviously I can go get sandstone right now. If you didn't know, sandstone and sand castle means you get new waves, but get sand castle first, or it'll mess you up. So you get some castle, and you're like, oh, I can just go over here and get more sand. Oh wait, you can't, because you didn't upgrade any of these. So, since you have a lot more sand castle than what you need for the auto gain to be unlocked, then you want to start upgrading each and every one of these. So watch out for the requirement, or it can end up make, uh, making this up later in the game. See, now that you do that, and the reason you do that is because, well, after Sand Castle, you have to get to Coral, which means you won't produce any stats below that, and you really need to get waves to get Coral. So, to do that, you end up getting waves in the, uh, sorry, Sandstone, then waves, uh, Coral. So, let's see that real quick. Oh my gosh, it's not letting me walk. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, I'll explain the runes here in a minute. If you're wondering about runes. Uh, waves. Alright. So, four. Once you reach one billion coral, you're able to go to the next zone. But, here's where things get tough. When you get to 1 billion coral, and you end up getting here, here's the problem. Well, 1 billion coral for a few cactus, it's not going to be 5 billion, obviously because I've stood on that rune over there, and uh, also I've sacrificed a bunch. But basically you'll get less than a thousand with potions. Not very good if you don't have good potions and stuff. So, you obviously want to try to stay in that room for a bit, which means you're going to need to sacrifice quite often to get up here. Okay, now, Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed, as you can see, it's so low without potions because before you get it, if you get up here, you'll see. It starts off at a 0, 0.0, like, 1 stack before you add any potions. It is extremely low. You don't even get 1 point stack. So, yeah. Uh, make sure you get a lot of cactus before you pass some cactus. Before you can end up um, getting the upgrade for uh, other portals. So I recommend being careful before you get tumbled. But then you can waste all that time. Okay, next. Gunpowder. Gunpowder doesn't really give you that much. Um to be honest with you, fossils give even less. Probably, so you would need really good potions and a lot of uh, sacrifices just be able to pull off 1 billion fossils to go to um, well a lot of gunpowder 
Oke. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the runes. Okay. Runes are a good way to get stat flags. Now, if you do end up getting runes, when you uh, reincarnate, you lose most of your runes. Not all of them. You lose most of them now. So I recommend stocking up on runes here. The one that this base rune, which costs 100,000 in the jungle. Token rune is in the uh, beach. Ocean rune is also in the beach. And the weapon rune. Now, I'll talk about secret stats later. Here. Probably see me in the room where see that was. That is energy. Now I'll scroll down here just to show you. Energy gives you more boost room. Now. So if you get that stock on it, there are secret potions the Wild West. It is a life saver because if you take that 12 times I just had and times that by the two point rune luck I have, the two rune luck. I'll be getting 24, so that means instead of being within, like, you know, 33.33, me getting it, I'm getting that, like, every two times, basically. Or every, like, three, even. So let's test it. Yeah, basically every two times, it will, in trying to get it, but I get something higher, so then... It does it again and again and again. See, like, I'm getting things that are higher because my room up is way higher. So I'm not going to get as much ammunition because I'm going to get the higher ones. So, there's that. So sometimes it can suck, sometimes it can't. Okay. I'll talk about the mine in the next video. Just put in the description what you'd like to see. Um, I'm probably going to do more um, videos on restarting the game uh, and basically making a new account just to grind on here, just to show y'all how it should be. Uh, no Robux either, so it'll be a free to play. Um, and then. I'll also go over some more tips throughout those videos and so on. And I'll talk about the mines for one video, talk about the secrets for another. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, please like and subscribe for support. And also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and get notifications from them. Alright, thanks and peace out.